What's going on people? Back with a bang. This is The Money Management, here to bring you guys your watch list for this upcoming week beginning tomorrow, June 27th. First thing I want to highlight is, this is the last week of the quarter, so just be careful with the options you're taking. I'm not saying it's going to be calls or puts or whatever, we're going to play what the market gives us as always, but like I said, it's the last week of the quarter, that'll be the first half of the year over. I am intrigued to see how it goes. Now as you can see here, I have the earnings calendar for this upcoming week, and to be honest, there's only about two or three stocks I'm really keeping my eye on from this earnings place. First of all, Nike tomorrow after close. Nike is one of those stocks that usually rallies around earnings times, so that's why I have my eye on it. Second of all, Wednesday, Bed Bath & Beyond, BBBY. Just want to see how that plays out. It was once one of those stocks which squeezed. Now I'm not sure how it's faring, but like I said, just keep my eye on that one. And lastly but not least, Micron Thursday after close. So we're going to jump onto trading view now and look at the charts. And if I have at the end, or if I feel like it at the end, I'm going to look at a couple of news articles or just, you know, platforms like Yahoo Finance, CNBC or Bloomberg. We'll just have a look at a couple of things on there. So we're going to start off with Meta, ticker symbol M-E-T-A, also known as Facebook, I guess. But their official name now, company name is Meta. So looking at this chart, the first thing you see is over or at least during the past year and a half two years it's just been selling off so what does that tell us it tells us long term facebook has or meta has plenty of room for recovery now that's not the reason i'm looking at calls this week because i am looking at calls for this week but the reason i'm looking at calls this week is because i think it's going to push up back towards the 180 range Right now it's at 170.16 and let's zoom in. Back to back green candles on a daily chart, starting to break above the 21 day moving average. I'd love to see if it can push above this daily resistance and fully start the uptrend towards $180 like I mentioned. But if I'm looking at price targets for Meta, well the first one would be that line I have there, 170. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's check the four hour chart. I just want to see something here. So here's a resistance zone around 172. And I'm going to just draw another line of resistance because those purple zones, I've told you guys about them before. They do give us a good indication of where stocks can get rejected. So right around here. What's that? 171.95. You could say 172, 70, 172, the first price target. If we push above that, I'd say, well, we've also got a gap fill up to around 178. If we go back to the daily chart, you can see this a little bit better. I think it's around 178. Oh, let's see right here. Well, one, actually 176. So there's a little gap fill, which began from here up to around 176. So yeah, first price target would be around 172. Second price target would be the blue line here, 174.47. Third price target would be slightly higher, the gap fill to 175. So if you want that, both of those can be around the same price target, 174 uh, or 175. And then if we can break those, we can push up here, 183.40. So Facebook, I am looking at calls, as I mentioned. It might pull back beforehand if we scroll back a bit how it fared over the past month as we come to month end the highest we were at we were at around 200 dollars june 9th i remember that day because Devin had mentioned it in the discord i didn't look at it and then before you knew it facebook was flying so we did hit 200 earlier this month i don't think we'll see it at the end of this month but like i said i think 180s are a good marker a good target for this week friday is july 1st remember that so i'll see how this fares going into the new month but that is it for facebook or meta next i want to look at amd advanced micro devices a stock that you guys know we love to play in our discord and also by the way if you're not in the discord come and join the royal trading academy 35 dollars a month and you will definitely get your money's worth in value so AMD, quite simply, 
I'm neutral on this one, either looking at the calls or the puts. If it were to be calls, from, from $87, right here. That would be my first price target around there, $90.63. So in that case, I'll be looking at the $90 call. Secondly, if we're going for puts, I'll be looking for a drop back to the daily support. So a price target of around, yeah, low 80s, so probably $80 puts. That's what I would look at, AMD. Again, $90 call, $80 puts. I'm unbiased. I'll play what it gives me. I do think there are starting to, we're starting to see some opportunities for swings in this market, but you've got to stay tuned and also just stay prepared to play whatever comes your way. AMD is one of those stocks that when you have the technical analysis down to a T, it makes it very easy to get 300, 400% returns on this stock, especially towards the end of the week. As you guys saw, J Money had uh, AMD call, bringing back over 800%. And again, if I'm trying to look for a 1,000% gainer or something, AMD is one of those stocks, along with stocks like CrowdStrike, along with stocks like Square. Obviously, those are the kind of stocks I like to look at for those 1,000% gainers. So AMD, again, $90 call, $80 puts. My price target slightly above $90. My target to the downside, just slightly below. $80 around there. So let's have a look at the next stock. And I think, well, that's two stocks done. I think I'll look around eight to 10 stocks for you guys today. We'll see how long that takes. So we're gonna look at retail now. We're gonna go with Walmart, ticker symbol WMT. Walmart has fallen off a little bit recently, but in comparison to where it could get to long-term, the potential upside, there is plenty of room for it to run. So the first thing you notice when you look at the daily chart here, it's a pretty much a double bottom here. It's also a weekly support zone. Retail has been a little bit beat up recently as has many stocks. Walmart had two huge drops back in May. And with those two huge drops, it gives us potential upside. So the first thing you see when you look at Walmart from the uptrend from the weekly support zone is it's about to break above the nine day moving average. Let me just check this right now. Okay, not what I wanted to see, but I mean, we have the crossover right here, so that is a good sign. So that wasn't what I was looking for, but yeah, like I said, a push up to around 130 is my expectation for Walmart, but I don't think that comes this week, which kind of brings me on to another point. Start looking at options which expire, not this week, but July 15, maybe the end of July. Because that's one thing I would look at with Walmart. Maybe calls, $130 calls. Maybe for July 15th in this case. My price target is this daily resistance around 130. And once we break that, my next price target is 132. So right now I'm looking to see if Walmart, if the next daily candle on Walmart can close above the 90 moving average. If not, then expect possibly a downtrend short term. We'll see how it pans out. But like I said, Walmart, I'm looking at longer term calls in this case. So this isn't just a trade for this week. It is one of my stocks to watch for this week, but the trade itself, the trade idea is also for, you know, expiry with two weeks out, possibly, something like that. If we get rejected here, then obviously it will be a nice entry for puts if we fail to close above this moving average, like I mentioned. And then moving on, we're going to have to touch on the Oxys, the MROs, the ExxonMobils. Today, I'm only going to pick on one of them and it's going to be Oxy. So for Oxy, we trended down below the moving averages. It broke below the 9 and 21 after they crossed over to the downside. Now we're hanging around the 100-day moving average. Seems to have bounced above it and starting to uptrend again. So Oxy, I would look at calls to around $61. But the thing with Oxy is that would be my first price target because when it does start running, it can run and push up very quickly. There's a daily support around $52. I don't expect it to fall you know, six, seven dollars this week. But if it does, then look for it to first fall towards the 100 day moving average around $55.90. And then if it breaks below all the way to the daily support zone, like I mentioned, I don't expect it to fall like that. I expect an uptrend, an uptrend to around $61 first and then continue to push upwards. You guys can have a look at Exxon Mobil, ticker symbol XOM, and also MRO in your own time. But like I said, Oxy, I'm expecting calls. But again, we'll stay neutral. 
for now. We'll see what the market gives us and then we'll play that. CVS has a very nice chart. One thing you notice about this one is four back-to-back -back green candles. This week it was green every single day. It has a daily support and a weekly support zone around $88. Now it's at $94 and I like this chart a lot. So for CVS, I mean, I think it pulls back first, but if you look, look at this. Very strong support around $89. So let's say it pulls back. Don't be like, oh, it, the, you know, the world is ending, CVS is crashing. No. If it does drop three, four dollars, see if you can pick it up in the, this support zone right here. This is a great support zone. But like I said, I expect to pull back a bit first. And then I'm looking at calls with CVS. So what would the price targets be? So around here, let's see. First of all, right, so this level right here, in fact, let me draw it so you guys can actually see what I'm seeing, make it be easier for you guys. So right there, around $95. That's my first price tag. And if it pushes above $95, I'll get into the $98 calls to get back up up around here. $98 calls. Honestly, what well, that's the 100-day moving average around $98 as well. So and this zone as well. This zone around $100. So CVS, my price target should be around yeah, $95 first, then $98 around its moving average and maybe high 98s, high 99s to get us into this zone right here. That would be my price targets for CVS. So I'm looking at calls. As I mentioned, I'm expecting first, you know, a little pullback because it has just come off a very strong week. If we look at the weekly candle, it will be a very green candle and a very long green candle. There we go. Very nice. So that's for CVS. Now let's have a look at Square, ticker symbol SQ, or Block as it's now known. With all these companies changing their names, it gets a bit confusing. But yeah, Square or Block. Said it again. So for Block, green week last week. Let's check the daily chart. You see the uptrend starting to, yeah, the uptrend is just beginning. If we can break above this moving average, I'll see if we can push up towards the daily resistance zone, which is around $90. Now, I, that's not my price target for this week. Again, this might be a July 8th price target or July 8th options expiry. For now, I'm looking for us to break above this moving average, so around $72. Yeah, around $72. If it can break above $72, I'll look at calls up towards $84. This stock is one that can move five, six dollars in a single day very quickly. So that's why it's whenever it's on my watch list, I've been expecting big moves from it. Last two daily candles were pretty green, quite long. You can see some more in here. Square is one of those stocks which can move, you know, like I mentioned earlier, just like AMD, move upwards and you're just like wow this is when is this going to stop it just keeps going so i'm looking at square calls this week especially once it breaks above this nine day moving average check here the crossover on the rsi that is one thing i like about the stocks when i get into calls when they have this crossover that is a good sign all right we've looked at amd what else oh yeah of course a firm a firm was one of the stocks i was keeping on my radar last week and I actually missed the move so hopefully I don't miss it this week. Similar chart to Square. Five green candles in a row on the daily chart with the firm. It's just broken above the moving average, which is what I like. If we can push out of this zone, and I don't think this zone is affecting it because it's a daily support zone. But again, support, old support can become new resistance. So it could get rejected around $24 and start downtrending. If it breaks above $24.42, then I'm in on the calls. And I'm thinking it's going to push up to the daily resistance again, not just for this week, possibly for next week as well. So the $32 price target could happen this week, but it could also happen next week. So you give yourself a July 8th or July 15th expiry. I do like this stock. I do like when it moves because again, this is one of those stocks which can move just like Square AMD up quickly and you're making 300, 400, 500% returns on it. I've done 650% returns on stocks like Affirm, you know, with the calls, with the puts. Again, a big move expected upwards this week. If it can break out of this zone, again, I like 
the crossover here. I like that it's broken above the mo both moving averages. This is a very nice setup. Also, Smith & Wesson, ticker symbol FWBI. Some company I mentioned in Friday's video, I am looking at how this performs because it's just had back-to-back -back days where it hit, what, 16, 17% returns? Look at those green candles, are dumb. Dumb green candles, crazy green candles. I think it pulls back before pushing up once again. So I don't have any plays set up for this one. I'm really going to play what the market gives us because I don't like stocks which have run up too quickly, which I feel like has happened in this case. But as I mentioned, you've got to keep this on your radar. Also, you've got the crossover, but this is, this is a, a bit of a crazy crossover because it's just gone straight up like that. Long term, great potential for recovery. Last year, I told you in Friday's video, go and watch that one if you've not seen it already. It ran from like $22 all the way to highs of like $40 in like four or five days. We'll see how it fares this week, but I just wanted to put that on your radar. Also, BA, Boeing. Boeing brought Dre back some crazy returns. Shout out Dre. Dre, for those of you who don't know, is the man who's always in the lounge, showing the charts, posting the flows, getting those crazy out of money contracts. That is Dre. Boeing, I'll have to see how Boeing plays out. I think the uptrend continues. I'm going to be neutral once again. It's just, oh, this is quite nice. Trending above the moving averages now, showing bullish signs. But anything can happen in this market. So the same way it's just started to trend above the moving averages, same way it can just break down and start downtrending once again. It's a little bit of a crazy market we're living in, uncertain times, so much happening. I think Boeing is on for calls. This could be a double top right here though, and it could start downtrending. So like I said, I'm neutral. I'm intrigued to see how this pans out because this is an interesting setup. Like I said, possible double top here, but at the same time, just broken above the moving averages, which is a good sign. So there's signs for calls or puts here. We're gonna play what the market gives us, and maybe we'll see the next couple daily candles before we touch this one, or you might have to switch to the hourly chart or four hour chart, whatever. Up to you guys. And then maybe what should we do? Quick crypto check? Yeah, let's do it. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. How's Bitcoin faring this weekend? Remember, there's crypto miners you can play. If you don't want to invest in cryptocurrencies themselves, you can invest in crypto stocks. Riot, Mara, BTBT, CAN, HUT, all of those are crypto mining companies. Bitcoin's at 21K, still quite bearish. Looks like it's starting to uptrend here though, but overall pretty bearish. We're in a daily support zone. Remember, technical analysis can also count for crypto. But yeah, that's enough from me today, guys. Come and check out the Royal Trading Academy. We're going to be posting watch lists you can actually read for yourself and look at and refer to daily in there now. We're just kind of revamping the discourse. So like I said, come check it out. There's so much going on there. Charts and breakdowns, watch lists, stock ideas, different earnings plays, premium discussions. We've got the call outs there. We've got so much going on in Royal Trading Academy. Come and check it out. Also, please do check out the Stock Option Starter Pack. You guys know the deal with that one. 10 videos that you guys have access to those for life. It's helped many people, hundreds of people. Hopefully it can help you as well. And lastly but not least, please check out all my socials. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at The Wealth Prince. Obviously, you guys know to like, subscribe, comment, and share on these videos on YouTube, The Money Management. Please get these videos out to more people. Please drop that thumbs up. It really does help. I think that's more than enough for me today, guys. Have a great Sunday. Get ready to make some more money this week. Let's finish the quarter strong and begin the second half of the year strong. Thanks a lot for watching today's video. That's it from me. I got money to making, you got money to making. See you guys next time for another video. Peace. Game over.